the seamstress and the tinker. Chapter 3, Refusal of the Call, Episode 3. On his way home from Potter's studio, earlier yesterday afternoon, Tinker happened upon a sight he hadn't expected. All of the people he had ever known, met, stumbled across or heard about. The physician and the undertaker were a combination which the Tinker dreaded. One was to send you home. The other was to send you on your way. Neither should have any reason to do business with the other. No amount of iron, silver or salted acorns could undo any job these two undertook together. Here they were in the open, outside undertaker's shop, deep in conversation. Through the large window, Tinker could see a body laid out in state. As usual, laid prostate, covered by a shroud. Although from where Tinker had paused, he could see that the head was uncovered. It was Undertaker's custom to lay out his customers, cover them completely and place a card with their name on their chest. And here is a picture of Tinker crossing the road. Curious, Tinker crossed the road, inhaling deeply in preparation of holding his breath. He sidestepped the two other gentlemen, just as one said, Nothing I can do. And the reply from the other, Nothing I can do. Tinker peered through the window. The body laid out was Milliner. Just before he passed out, Tinker heard the undertaker state, not dead, but dreaming.